Hello, my name is Debbie Dibble. I have been a certified stenographic court reporter for almost 40 years. I hold the designations of registered diplomat reporter, certified real-time reporter, and am a certified captioner. I am here today to talk to you about the sacred duty that we hold as guardians of the record. There is no greater responsibility than protecting the public and your clients' rights. Every day, people take the stand they take an oath and they give their testimony. Under questioning, they many times disclose the most private, intimate details of their lives. They are sharing their personal identifying information, their social security numbers, minors' names, banking information. In many instances, witnesses' voices and possibly their facial images are being recorded. And in this day and age of voice print identification and face ID, that data is every bit as destructive in the wrong hands as logins and passwords. Every day in cases across America, confidential business information, future corporate strategy, trade secrets, government information is being captured on the record. The protection of this information is the joint responsibility of conscientious judges, counsel, and professional trained stenographic court reporters. You as counsel have a responsibility to ensure that you are hiring a responsible, vetted, accountable human to fulfill the role of safeguarding your client's information. When record making is entrusted to a digital operator, doing little more than creating a recording that is routinely broken down into segments, then sent who knows where to be transcribed by untrained, unsupervised overseas gig workers, you are not only shouldering the risk that there ultimately might not be a complete record of the proceedings, but also that the confidential information within the record may not be ethically and securely handled. Alternatively, these digital audio files can be processed using ASR, automatic speech recognition, where they are uploaded to the cloud and run through language models and databases that can be scraped and mined by bad actors looking for sensitive confidential information. Encryption algorithms and watermarks are broken almost as fast as they are created. And as we all know, once something is out there on the internet, it can never be deleted. If your transcripts are created by someone using AI or ASR, you have no expectation of privacy or confidentiality. Your prompts, your inputs, your client's information will be used to maintain and build systems, thereby possibly compromising even your attorney-client privilege and other sensitive information. ABA Model Rule 1.0 prohibits a lawyer from revealing information relating to the representation of a client. This prohibition also applies to disclosures by a lawyer that do not in themselves reveal protected information, but could reasonably lead to the discovery of such information by a third party. How trial and deposition transcripts are created is a high-risk environment, as identified by those investigating dangers associated with the use of digital and artificial intelligence. And choosing AI technology for this implementation is unethical and irresponsible for numerous reasons. Technological advances are remarkable achievements in many applications, but it should not be making autonomous decisions when litigants' families, livelihoods, property, resources, civil rights, lives, and freedom are at stake. As sworn officers of the court, counsel and court reporters alike have a crucial responsibility to protect the record and protect the judicial system. I appreciate your time. Thank you.